Welcome back to Techno Sahaj in YouTube channel. So first of all for today Micro Center is offering a 700 US dollars trade in bonus for a 2000 US dollars RTX 4090 GPU. So if you go into Micro Center and you want to trade in your GPU for an MSI MSI for RTX 4090 gaming trio GPU, you can get it. It is retailing for $1939, $1940 as of now and you can get upwards of 700 bucks off it's estimated as of now it depends on your gpus and conditions according to it but this is a nice trading bonus i will say and if you want an a high-end gpu then yeah you should definitely go with the trading options and it's pretty nice next up high-end amd rdna 2 gpu supply is dwindling down like you can't find any more RX 6950 XT and 6900 XT are impossible to find. At 750 bucks, you can find it a single uh, Astroc model for 560 bucks. But yeah, it's dwindling down. So if you want a low high end RDNA 2 graphics card by AMD, you should go right now and buy it right now if you want it. Because in the future, you will not find it. And it is to be expected because yeah, RDNA 4 is coming out, so RDNA 2 production will be ceasing. Next up, AMD has unveiled their Ryzen Pro 8000 series processors, and it is based on Zen 4 and it comes with Ryzen AI. As you can see, they are showing upwards when compared to the competition. Desktop dedicated NPU tops, 16 tops, mobile dedicated NPU tops is 16, and total system tops when compared to Intel's. 14 gen and intel's core ultra is like 39 tops but it is to be expected because intel's gpus are not programmed with npus or intel cpus are not programmed with npus so it is to be expected in desktop segment that it won't be possible but yeah they had just released their ryzen pro 8000 series for the desktop and it comes with xdna npu core cpu comes with zen 4 and the gpu comes with rdna 3 which is a nice thing overall but yeah the competition is going towards ai market as of now and the problem with it i feel like companies are focusing more on ai than it needs to be done and no other G cpu as of now i think compares to microsoft requirements for calling it as an ai pc which is 45 teraflops even if you see see over here it's just 16 top so it's not even 45 so it won't get a moniker as AI PC but nonetheless that's what's happening and lastly for today we also have news regarding AMD and it's regarding RDNA 4 and RDNA 3 plus as they have been spotted uh, as they have been spotted in the Linux patch and both resource updated support in the Linux graphics drivers as you can see on the screen here there are some optimizations and some initial code which has been shown off as it is reported stated to merge ahead of linux 6.10 the new features includes upgrade to the ip block targets towards rdna 3 plus and rdna 4 gpu architecture and this shows a comprehensive report of it so rdna 4 is going to be launched pretty soon let's hope and rdna 3 plus is also coming but yeah, that's it from me today. What do you think about the news? Sound of your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, share and subscribe and I'll meet you in the next one. Peace.